Hi, this is Tony, and we're back on the bench. And this evening, we're going to be doing a reassembly service on a Penn Spin Fisher 704Z that belongs to my buddy Dan here. So I've recently done a series of videos on this reel because uh, it was a good candidate uh, for some of the problems and topics that I wanted to post in separate videos. And so uh, one of them has to do with... Uh, uh, the fact that this this had a severely bent bail spring, and you can w uh, watch that on the YouTube channel. Um, it, it just had a really, really severely bad, uh, badly bent uh, bail spring. It also had a seized uh, line roller, for that matter. So that was another issue, um, you know. But uh, you know, I've got a separate uh, disassembly video, and I've also got just a separate cleaning video on it because it was very, very dirty. So all those videos you can check out on the YouTube channel, but this is just going to be for the reassembly here, okay? Uh, so also the, the ball bearing, the main bearing here, uh, we, we were not able to actually get out, which is a common problem with this model and a lot of the greeny uh, pen series uh, models, okay? But we were able to service it, clean it, and, uh, and, and get it, uh, you know, looking pretty good, okay? So the first step... That we're going to do is we're going to flood this here with some pen precision oil okay and that's going to take care of that part of it right there okay we're going to work that oil in okay and you can see uh, those bearings turn okay in pretty good shape there okay and then we're going to put our our lid back on top here and then there's this uh, really small thin little uh, spring snap spring that needs to go back into place here and the you know this can be pretty hard to take out sometimes if you have a serviceable bearing and I've got a separate video on that topic as well that you can check out on the YouTube channel about how to service your ball. I only got that snapped in it's a little difficult to see okay but you can tell you can see right there that it's completely snapped in, okay? So you just have to work at it, okay? But that's ready to go, all right? So now we've got a ramp here. Very important that you line up this ramp with the point end here facing towards the stand part of the reel, okay? Now before we do that, we're just going to do a quick bead of oil on these threads right here. This reel is getting a real thorough uh, service uh, just because of the condition that it's in and, and the work that it's needed, so to speak. And so that's why I've done a series of videos on this particular one. I don't like doing videos that are like an hour long and covering all the steps because it just makes for too long of a video, frankly. So... And then we'll turn these screws into position, like so. But you know, if you have this reel and uh, and you want to work on it, you can you can watch this video. If uh, if you're not uh, familiar with the reel, you know, I'd encourage you to take pictures or take videos or watch this video. And if you have uh, questions, uh, you can feel free to drop that in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to respond. Okay. And then we got our boot. It goes back on top. You got to snap it in just right. Okay, like so. Okay. So now we're ready to reattach our rotor. Now I did a separate video on, on, on this uh, rotor and bale assembly here, basically. So you can check that out on the channel. Okay, but we're going we're gonna to slide this back into position here, like so. Got our rotor nut. I'm going to go back on. Now 
and that's a 9 16 so if you have a deep socket that'll work fine for that snug that up okay so that's nice and smooth no problems there okay now comes the part where we're going to put in all of our other pieces here essentially so we've cleaned all these these up really well okay so we've got our main gear all right it's in good shape and we're going to apply some pin precision blue grease to that here I'll make sure we get these teeth greased up really well Do a little bit up here as well okay and then before we put that in we've got our dog that's going to go back into position down here. I'll make sure I get the rest of this penetrating oil from underneath here. Okay. And you can apply a little bead of oil here and there for your dog spring. Okay. What you need to do here is you have to get this so that the spring snaps back when you put this on in, in position here. And that can be a little tricky to do. But you kind of have to push back on the spring and roll the dog around there so it's in that position. Okay. And then at this point, you put a little bit of blue grease here on your shaft, on your main shaft, like so. Okay, we're gonna slide that back into position, like so. And also, we're gonna hit our pinning gear with a little bit of blue grease, and that's gonna work its way in there. Like so, okay. Okay, so you should hear that dog snap like that. That's a good sign, okay. Hmm. Snap out on me there. Okay, now we've got our our main drive shaft here, axle shaft. We're going to take some blue grease to that. Make sure that you're using greases and oils that are made for fishing reels. I say that in all my videos now. You don't want to use automotive grease. You'd be surprised how many reels I, I, I work on that are loaded with Vaseline, too. Don't use Vaseline. Okay, we're going to put this back into position, like so. And then we've got, we've got our piece here, cam. Got to get those holes lined up just right. Okay, we're going to do a little bead of oil right here on that set screw. Put that back in there. Just going to put just a little, little extra dab of some grease right there. You can see. That's a good deal there. That's what you want. Okay. So now we're going to put our, our plate back on. And I'm actually going to swap out this emblem. You can still get those emblems. 
I'm gonna do that for my my buddy just to make it look a little nicer I'm gonna put a little bead of oil on these screws so they stay in good shape Okay, we've got a, a Teflon washer here. It goes back on top, like so. Okay, and then we've got our, our spool. We're going to hit this with a little bead of real oil right there. Okay, and we just want to make sure that this area is cleaned out the best that we can get it. This was a pretty dirty reel, so... Like I said, I've got a separate cleaning video on just just this model. Okay, and then all we have left is our drag stack, okay? And we want to make sure that this chamber down there is nice and clean. Okay, so our drag stack is next. And what I like to do usually is just like to try to take a clean towel like so. Okay, and we've got our washers here that we've cleaned off. And then we're going to take some Cal's star drag grease here. And we're going to put these, these washers back in the appropriate order. Okay, there's the, the starred washer there, the octagon style washer, and then uh, a Teflon washer, metal washer. And when in doubt, you know, check the schematic uh, on the orientation of these washers, okay, because they have to go back in just the right order. Teflon. Metal. Okay, and then we've got a HT100 carbon textile fiber washer here and what the cal star drag grease does is it prevents these from cracking these ht 100s and then we've got another octagon style one and then a little bit more cal's star drag grease on this you just want a light film of it you don't want it to be goopy or anything just a light light film metal washer okay and then we got a snap ring that goes back in like so okay got our top cap it's going to go back in position okay and then we've got a A washer goes here for our handle. I'm going to do a little bit of real oil in these threads right there. And then also on the seam of the handle right here. Nice torpedo style handle. I don't make them like that anymore. Okay. And we've already cleaned up uh, all the rest of this more or less in the other videos. And so we're going to slap that back on. that okay and we're gonna try this out and we're gonna see how it's working <clears throat> that's feeling pretty good 
So anti reverse is good. Dog sounds nice and healthy. We're gonna check out our bale. Really, really good bale snap on that. That's 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 feeling way better than it was. Like I said, the bale was really bent, and so that was a, a severe issue for sure. Try out our drag. Tightening it up. Get up to max drag here. Nice and smooth. Really, really nice and smooth. So I'd say this this reel's ready to to go get some fish. So so yeah, there you have it. That one's for my buddy Dan. So that's the uh, the Penn Spin Fisher 704Z, all uh, serviced, spritzed up, and ready to go. So thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more, please do subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comment section, and I'll, I'll do my best to reply to those. We'll see you next time.